Welcome to MindSphere 101. The purpose of this video is to explain how devices and variables are managed within MindSphere version 3. This diagram will help to illustrate the relationship between assets, aspects, data sources, data points, and variables within MindSphere. The top left, this is our physical asset, which in our case is the MindConnect Nano. This is the device that will be actually communicating with MindSphere and sending data into the cloud. Note that more than one asset or device can be connected to a single MindConnect Nano. Each of these assets are composed of various aspects which contain our variables that we wish to monitor. It is important to note that an asset cannot be created on its own, but rather must be created based on an asset type. An asset type is a template that contains all of the required or desired aspects, and each of our assets will be an instance of one of these types. For example, you may have a asset type called FinPress, and then each of our FinPress assets will be based on that FinPress type. Each of these two assets have an identical set of aspects and variables because they are both created from the same type or template. Data sources and data points are managed separately from our assets and aspects and are linked directly to the Nano. In the MindSphere or the MindConnect Nano, you will create various data sources uh, that will be linked to your assets later on. Note that a single asset may collect data from multiple data sources even if that data source has the same IP address. For example, this data source pulls data every 15 seconds, whereas this data, for data source with the same IP address collects data every one second. This allows you to collect certain types of data more frequently than others. Note also that each asset must have its own data source. For example, these two data sources are used only with this asset and this data source and this data source are used only with this asset. The dotted lines indicate that these data points are linked to these variables within our aspects. Each data point here will request data from the PLC at the given address at the specified time interval. This data value then will be associated with the linked variable. These variables can then be displayed in the Fleet Manager portion of MindSphere.